liquid form at room temperature it is a fluid substance because it can flow from high altitude to low altitude from this uh, this container it can flow into this uh, glass in this way it has fluidity and it has no taste see if i try the taste of water it has no taste at all it has does it have any color no it has no color at all and if i smell it it has no odor no smell and does it have any shape no it acquires the shape of its pot see it acquires the shape of its pot in this pot it has acquired the shape of this container then uh, shape of glass bottle in this way it is proved that it has the it has no its own shape but it acquires the shape of the container now it can see through small holes small cracks small gaps that we will see now see this is a glass bottle and if i pour water in it see from this the water is coming outside you can see this that means it seeps from the small holes gaps or cracks density of water it is 1 gram per cubic centimeter i will explain what is density in the next unit but we have to see that ice is lighter than water see these are the ice crystals and these ice crystals when they are uh, they are taken in this glass at that time what will happen you can see these ice crystals they are floating on water why they float on water because they have low density because of low density than water these ice crystals they float on water they are lighter than water in this way we have studied that ice is lighter than water water shows anomalous behavior and that anomalous behavior that we'll see in detail in the next unit water is a universal solvent that means if we dissolve uh, so many things those are soluble in uh, they are soluble in water and for example if i add green color to water that green color it dissolves in water and it acquires green color to it that's why in holi we play with colors and those colors they are dissolved totally in water this is called solubility of water that's why it is said pani re pani tera rang kaisa jisme mila do bane us jaisa again there are so many soluble things for example in water i am adding salt see when i will add salt to this this salt crystals they will completely dissolve in a few seconds in it because they are soluble in water so many things are there they dissolve in water after that i will take alum crystals and these alum crystals they will also dissolve in water very easily see alum crystals dissolve in water then sugar add to water we know sugar can dissolve in water completely in this way water is called universal solvent and it is a good coolant also see these ice crystals if we touch those ice crystals or glass that 
contains ice we know that we feel very cool because of low temperature of that water so that's why it is used as coolant at so many places it is used as cleaning agent also uh, for cleaning activities for washing clothes for cleaning uh, so many things we use uh, water everywhere now what we have to see the if i add so many things i am putting a pencil then this rubber cork then this paper straw in this water this syringe of plastic it is also then this spoon steel spoon it is added to it and this balloon is added to it this potato is added to it you can see the things here some things are floating on water whereas some are at the bottom of water which things are floating here this rubber straw this pencil this syringe balloon rubber cork all these things they are floating on water very easily but this potato it goes down spoon it goes down why does this happen because because of the density those uh, materials those are having less density than water they float on water whereas uh, those are having high density they sink at the bottom of water now we will do one experiment for that see if we take water in the glass and if i put a potato in it what will happen it will sink at the bottom now we will see how density has the difference now what i am doing i am adding this salt this salt to water now what will happen i have added salt to it and this salt solution is there in this solution this is the solution of salt in that salt is the solute that dissolves in water water is the solvent in which solute dissolves and there is formation of salt solution now if i add this potato what will happen see this potato it is floating you can see here this is floating here why does this happen because of the change in the density of that water as we have added a uh, salt to it the density increases and this potato it floats on water see this is the difference and that's why in the dead sea there is high large proportion of salt you must have studied dead sea in geography and in dead sea what happens there there is large proportion of salt because the surface water continuously evaporates and the salt remains behind and because of that there is uh, so much uh, salt in that water and the density is the highest density of that uh, dead sea uh, uh, it uh, leads to float so many things if we go there and if we sleep and read the newspaper on that water we can float easily uh, on that water why because of the highest density of that dead sea see you can see it clearly here now that potato is floating on water that does not sink at the bottom 